Hi everybody all my followers, be welcome to another video and once again on my 2011 Corsa D 1.3 CDTI so it's going to be another job on it uh, I've noticed something when I was cleaning the ECU area uh, it's going to have to be done soon uh, but uh, I'll take you through when, when that happens but for today most likely the title will suggest what we're going to be doing here today so I bought the car so today is Friday I got hold of the car the car I, I, I picked up the car on Tuesday and I filled up the car on Wednesday and when I filled up the car um, I was trying to look to see how many miles I could do uh, with a full tank and guess what I couldn't find it so then I've googled a little bit, tried to figure out where he was. So there's nothing there for it on that middle screen. And I find out that should actually be somewhere here. So you should have an extra menu right here at the top. You should have another one. So I have the BC uh, button, but when I press this button, it only comes with this. It's just a timer. That's all I have. So. In here I have the phone, the UH something, and I have the radio, okay? But you should have an extra menu for the trip computer. Now, uh, I'm gonna try to code that in, into the GID, I think I think it's the, the, the acronyms for that, is GID. And that's what, that's what we are gonna try to do. Uh, for that, guys, uh, my quick research, i never done such thing, but my quick research was that I'm going to need Tech 2 for that. So we are going to attempt to do that. Uh, I'm going to go through the menus because I've never done it. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. But I will take you through, guys, with me. Okay, and the laptop is now running. And we're going to open Tech 2 in. Opal, yes, okay, okay, so you guys have to bear in mind with me because, uh, to bear with me because I've never done this, so even I'm not 100% sure how this is done. So I'm going to look for the, maybe for the option where that's done, and then I'll take, to, I'll I will try to show you how it's done. Okay, guys, and I believe I found it. So under the uh, info display, so it comes up with all the versions. Uh, you have the radio that is fitted. This is the CD30 MP3, so that's fine. The language is fine. The units, uh, I'll just leave it. Voxel, that's fine, and that's where it is. So board, computer, so electronic. Uh, climate control is not present is the manual one so that's the one so if I change these to present let me change that in there modify this to present so that should now show me yeah so okay so I'm not gonna press program yet I'm just gonna show you all the other options steering wheel controls they are present Check control. Not really sure what this one is, but I'm gonna leave that off. Uh, TPMS, no, it's not present. Anti theft, uh, not available. Trailer, it's not available. Mobile phone, yes, it's present. And that's it. So, is the options I have. So, let's press program. It might be, guys, that Opcom could do this uh, from so programming successful from everything I found online, guys. Um, I never read no one doing it with Opcom, so not really sure if this was possible. And immediately I have an extra menu. There he is, look at that. So, it's gonna scroll through that. Oh crap. Okay, shows me the menu. Will that be all done? Let me try, start the engine. To see if there's anything to do okay a little bit disappointing because this only shows me this anyway 
Okay, so is is basically a shortcut to that. So I'm not happy with, yet with this because what I want is fuel consumption and all that stuff. Guys, not really sure where I stopped last, but after being here, tried to figure it out uh, and using a little bit of Google, um, I find out that apparently I have. Sorry, guys, let me do this here. So I have what is called the driving school system. Okay, so vehicle usage, if I select this, it will allow me now to program, uh, to reflash the module. But apparently, I need to have the serial production. But look what happens. I don't have start and stop. But either way, either it, it doesn't matter which one I select, I always get this, this code. So it looks like my hardware number, so as you can see in there, it looks like my hardware is actually not capable of that, or at least is what it looks like. So I'm not really sure right now. Uh, I think I'm going to have to dig a little bit more into this until I find out how this is done. Uh, if I need a new screen, I'll get another one. Not gonna lie, but ideally, ideally, I would be able to get this running. It's a chain that is not working. Crap. That works fine, but I want the trip. I want to see the fuel consumption, etc., etc. So it's not going as planned. Bear with me, guys. Let's see where we get with this. Okay, guys, and job done. Uh, this is actually the following day. Uh, Mr. just got from work, and uh, I, uh, I've investigated a little bit throughout the day. And look at that! There's actually two. But well, obviously, I just programmed it, so everything shows uh, zero. There's two different computers, as you can see. But uh, what I want was just that, really. Look at that! Shows me the range, the mileage. Uh, per gallon and the instant consum consumption so now you guys might be asking well what have you done right quite simple guys what I had to do was I'm gonna show you here when I go program code index so I go there I will cancel this in the end but so can you see there code index 4 if you go back on the video guys, you'll see that before I had code index 3, okay? So that's what makes it to come up with that. There is a little bit of a programming procedure that comes through, but this is how it's done guys. So yeah, this is how you get your uh, trip computer activated on a Corsa D in case if you don't have it. Uh, I believe, actually, uh, from what I've read, Opcom might be able to do it, but uh, if you can't, Tech2 is a tool for it. So, with no, with no further ado, guys, I really hope there's some information here. You guys are going to enjoy it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, please put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.